and he also revealed just how many of us are likely to catch the bug in the next 12 months. The DUP's Alex Easton is asking the question. Could the Minister um, tell us if anyone from his department had contact with health organisations across the world as why the swine flu seems to be slowing down as it moves outside of uh, Mexico? And uh, thankfully, th there seems to be very few deaths outside of Mexico. Could he maybe update us on that? Minister. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Uh, the response is very much international, national and local. And the department looks after the local response. The national response is handled through COBRA and the four health departments. And then the World Health Organization is responsible for coordination internationally. And I think one of the features, in fact, is that it, is, it does not appear to be slowing down. And we are in the US has now overtaken Mexico in the number of confirmed cases. And it's up to almost 5,000. My update, which is Sunday's update, and I, I will shortly get another one, uh, is in, in the US the number of deaths are four, but I understand that's now risen again. In Mexico, they are under just under 3,000 uh, confirmed cases with 66 deaths, and Canada is the other area, which is just under 500 cases. So one of the features of this virus appears to be, and I say appear because uh, nobody can be absolutely definitive about it because it's an, a new and novel virus, is the speed of travel appears to be very significant, and it's not simply uh, because of aeroplane travel. There appears to be rapid person-to-person -person as well. And the World Health Organization estimate, which I heard over the weekend, was that within 12 months, approximately one-third of the entire population of the, of the Earth will take this virus. And that's somewhere, if the population of the Earth is somewhere around 7 billion people, you can see that the, the, the number of people liable to take this is staggering, which is why getting productions and getting access to vaccines and pre-vaccines or pre-pandemic vaccines is uh, regarded as uh, very important as far as the, the, the COBRA discussions are concerned.